when I made my first Tupac video, I think, when I was talking about Tupac, when we was doing the Truth Behind videos, and Tupac was like one of the second ones I did. You know, and one of the second ones I think I did was not about just him and Biggie. I also brought in the jealousy of Snoop. Because people don't really understand. And I was telling people, I'm like, do you realize Tupac died at 25 years of age? Biggie at 24. They were young. <laughs> you know, most of the, I'm like most of you guys right now, you know, are about their age when they were making hit records and songs. You know, so they've been gone for 20 years. And it's like surreal almost. Like when my best friend passed, I'm like, I can't even believe it's been almost like 18 years. It still felt like yesterday when he was here. And it's been 18 years since he's been on this earth. You know, so... To me, that's like surreal. And dealing with the Tupac thing and going over the stories, I didn't want to glorify. I wanted to tell people the real. Some stories he didn't look so great in. Some stories he was great in. See, when people tell stories, they like to glorify. Um, like sensationalize and I don't do that. Only thing I want to do is try to protect some of the people who might be in the story, who might feel a certain way and tell it to the truest of my ability. There is no need to make stuff up. Somebody told me who saw the film, man, I swear to God, they must have used a lot of stuff from your videos and put it in the movie. Because I swear, it was almost word for word. And I was like, man, I can't wait to see this film now. Because I want to see how much what I said is going to be in the movie. Because there's a lot of people out there like, man, I can't wait to prove Carcino wrong. He don't know what he's talking about. This movie is going to validate me because every everything you've been hearing so far outside of the movie, people are telling me, the dude, they just, you said the exact same thing like you were in the room and it came out in the movie just like that. The director said exactly what you said. Man, when he talked about John Singleton, man, you said the same thing about John Singleton, man. That's all I've been getting for the past two weeks. Like, man, we need a Tupac video, man. We need something about Pac. Man, this Pac week. This should be Pac week. I was like, well, I kind of said everything about Tupac that I wanted to say or needed to be said at the time. Because Tupac is not for a movie. You know, it's like, man, I'm not saying all this for a movie. I'm saying this because it's real. You know, so that's all that was about. I really didn't think it was a need to go into a whole Pac mode this week and load up. I'm like, dude, I gave you a lot of Tupac stories. <laughs> There's plenty more out there in the world. But I don't feel like loading up just because all eyes on me is coming out in theaters this week. You know, a lot of people are blown away by the movie and blown away by certain scenes and people who've seen it. But I'm like, most of the people who are seeing it or the people who are out here supporting the film, you know, majority of these people were producers or silent partners. So they want to see their story portrayed in a certain way. Initially looking at it, as far as 
embracing Pac, the actor they got, I really don't feel the the Pac in him. Like I don't see. I gotta see the project, you know. But from the clips, you know, he he don't seem to embody Pac. Like to have that proper energy for the moment. But I'll I'll wait till I see the movie to make an you know an assessment. But as far as everything else, man, I think this movie would do nothing but validate everything that I've stated. I mean everything that I've stated about Tupac. That's what I'm looking for this film to, to do. They won't go as deep as I went. Because, like I said, certain people, certain friendships, certain relationships, they're going to want to protect to the fullest, and they're not going to want to go down that road. So I understand that. And with that being said, uh, if you go out and see the movie, be safe. Don't get stupid. Don't get drunk. Don't go fighting. They're looking for that. They boosted security in a lot of these movie theaters because they're expecting us to act like idiots. Take your girl. Take your homeboy. Take whoever you're going to take, you know. Go check the film out. It should be really good. So, on that note, um, I'm out, man. I'm going to make it an early one today. I'm probably going to hit you with that many videos today. Like I've been normally hitting you with. Then again, you never know. Just stay tuned.